Okay, so my name is Kristen Carter, um, and my role, I'm a writer-director, and my, sh my film's name is How to Make Shepherd's Pie. Very yes. cool. Very intriguing, right? Yes, yes, it is. And what's the plot about? Can you tell me a little bit about so, it? So, um, I can't tell you too much without giving it away, but it is a drama, and it's, you know, the title is a mislead of sorts, because it's not necessarily, that it kind of makes you think maybe comedy, and it's, it's a drama, and it's a study of a relationship, um that has sort of become hardened over years and it's it's a nuanced look at what happens when people get stuck in a dynamic i know it's heavy right yeah. i <laughs> know i told you take a deep breath yeah yeah and at the end you will learn how to make shepherd's pie no i'm kidding you won't i don't get a recipe yeah no you don't get a recipe okay. but you do get a recipe for what to avoid in a relationship that's what i need. bam you teed that up for me thank you or did i tee it up for myself Okay. And and what's your inspiration behind this? Um, Anything personal or that you can talk about or not? Um, yeah, I mean, uh, at other festivals, everyone said, "Oh, this feels like a very personal story," and yeah. I, it does. I know, and it is a personal story. But um, the universal like element of it is feeling invisible in a relationship with someone else. This happens to be a marriage, but I think that this can happen in any. It can happen in a parent-child. It can happen in. In, in, in female or male friendship. I mean, it can happen anywhere, and, and we get, um, we don't know how to fix it. We, we basically get stuck, and we don't know how to fix it, and when we're feeling invisible and lost in a relationship, um, we don't know how to take the steps to make it better. And um, I hope what people see in this is sort of how this can happen and how what you see is actually not what is happening to the person in this relationship, but that at the end, the final connection is hopefully hopeful and not not depressing or um, discouraging, but it's actually like um, encouraging and optimistic um, because I feel like we are living in a world of making connection and seeking connection. And I mean, it's gonna sound so cheesy, but I'm having connection with you. Right? Like, like we're yeah, just, absolutely. that's what we're doing. We're going around, we're talking to people, we're saying hello, we're whatever, we're yeah. in an interview situation, but all day long we're making these connections. And yeah. I just feel like sometimes people get lost and they are not making connection anymore. And so it's sort of about that, yeah. A and, lot. I yeah, know. no. And yeah. speaking of connection and yeah. meeting people and networking, everything, COVID really stopped everything. Exactly. So yes. what was that process like for you working in this so, film? So it was good in that, like, I never had time to write. And I'm a writer at heart. I mean, I'm a... Are you a writer too? Oh, you are? So, yeah, it's... It's, um, well, if you're a writer, you know, if you don't have time to write and suddenly you have time to write, it's like, it's good and it's bad, right? Because you're like, wait, now I have time and now I have to write. Like, I have no excuses anymore, right? Um, so it was really good for me. Um, but I also feel like there was something about COVID that this just constant threat, I feel like, was a lot to process for everybody at every age, whether it meant missing high school or college or, you know, anything. And I feel like, in a way, that seeped into a lot of the work of any any artist or anybody who does stuff. And for me, um, part of what happens in this movie, it was thought sort of a thought process I had while during COVID that I think was a little dark and a little bit scary, but I think in some ways we all kind of were like, what are we doing? Like, is this going to go on forever? Is it endless? Do we ever see people again? Do we ever make these connections again? And so, anyway, I know, probably heavier than you want it to go. No, but, yeah. it's great. I love hearing about everything. Good. Yeah. Good. Well, thank you so much for thank taking you. the time. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Yeah, okay. it's nice to speak uh, with nice you. Nice to yeah, meet it's you. Nice to be here. Yeah.